Hi, my name is Ramesh Kinasekar. I'm the author of uh, The Prisoner of Paradise. Um, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the book. The central character um, is Lucy. Lucy is a spirited uh, young girl on the brink of adulthood. And she leaves London and goes to Mauritius in 1825. She arrives there about the same time as Don, uh, a young man from what was then called Ceylon, uh, who is the personal interpreter to the Prince of Ceylon, who's been banished, uh, exiled to Mauritius by the British. The story is really about Lucy and Don, their fascination, their chemistry, the obstacles between them, uh, when they meet at this strange crossroads of uh, uh, Britain and France competing for power in the Indian Ocean. I didn't really set out to choose Mauritius. It kind of uh, drew me in. Um, I first went to Mauritius ages ago, 1998, I think. I was there to do a reading, really. I didn't know much about Mauritius. But when I got there, I was really fascinated by the, the layers of history, um, the, um, the, the sort of very interesting mixture of, of cultures. There's the, the, the English, the French, the Indian, African, uh, the influences there. Uh, and I then discovered, really, that there were, there were links uh, that go back in, in lots of different directions. The themes of this novel, I suppose, like, like all my others, um, are, the, uh, are the, the great themes of love and death. You know, those are you know, the big themes, and you should go for them. Um, but in this book, it's also, I suppose, there are other things in it. Uh, slavery in this part of the world, which is not known about very much, um, and the struggle for power. You know, not only the great big sort of uh, struggles of power, but the domestic ones, uh, the struggle for power between Lucy's aunt and uncle, Betty and George, in their beautiful house, Ambleside, um, power between masters and servants. Uh, Muru is a servant boy there, um, who I suppose uh, reminds me a little bit of Triton from my first book, Reef, um, the struggle for power with language. Um, and add to this, I suppose, themes of uh, freedom, exile, transgression. You know, these are characters who are crossing boundaries, boundaries of culture, of race. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a pretty rich mixture for me, uh, for me to live in. The book is set in the 19th century, but I wanted it to feel like it's something happening now. Um, that, to me, is what fiction is about, really. Um, their books are, you know, fiction is of the moment. It uh, lives as it's read, and that's how it should be. A good book doesn't sort of live in the past, and the relevance doesn't come from the period when it was written or the period in which it's set. It really comes from, I suppose, the excitement in the writing or the engagement of the reader. Having finally let go of The Prisoner of Paradise, um, I'm now working on the short stories that have been brewing for the last so many years. Uh, there's a collection of stories as well called Lifelines, which I'm trying to uh, get the lines just right. Um, and then there's the next novel, um, which is building up ahead of steam. I know the story, I know the characters, I know the place. I can't wait to get started. All I need is a cup of tea and a bit of daylight. <laughs>